Hi and welcome to student result ranking system. This was at a request of one of my viewers and this is what I put together. So let me show you guys how it works. I'm going to now use the reset, reset all that and right in here let's enter the student ID and the name. So let's say the name is Echo should be okay and the course code and that is the course code now for mathematics mr should he score that much business it economics counts english And business and so on so all we need to now do is click on rank there so this guy is a first class student and we can always print out the transcript update our data review right there and if we have to delete we can always delete like we have duplicate of Joe or Joel, uh, Joel Stanmore, so we can always delete that. I think we have to use this here, delete Joel Stanmore. Then we can also add one more candidate there. Let's say this guy is Isha. And let's put Ewu there. Right. And the course code of uh, Mr. Isha Ewu is as follows. Mathematics 96% business. This is a very intelligent man. We have this is a 90 and above student. Okay, all you just need to do is then click on rank right there. You can see the total score, average, and the ranking is a first class student. And let's add that to our transcript right there okay which we can always print out and we can add that to our data review there okay guys so what i'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into visual basic development environment and we put one of these together so let's do that now hi and welcome to visual basic tutorial i'm going to start by clicking on create new project i'm actually using visual studio 2017 so select visual basic and make sure windows forms application is selected this project is actually based on a request by a guy who would like me to develop student recording and ranking system so we we'll just call a student result underscore ranking there that will be the name of my file click on ok all right why the form is loading up let me show you the email from this guy okay minimize that that's the email from this guy if you guys can see it yes sir can you do a video to calculate student result with ranks and i did reply to him just would like to know more about this uh, tutorial or project student exam results with five or more subjects with scores average and grades okay then there is another replied from this guy let me show you that okay this is more information with regards to this project from this guy student result with five or more subject scores average result grades Pass or fail total max obtained from subject school. And the most important one is the ranking as first class, second class, and so on, based on the max obtained. But there's one more thing I think you would like me to to use uh, a data gravy right there. Look at it okay if possible to use data review for the project so let's go to visual basic now and uh, 
have a go at it I'm back in my visual basic the first thing I will do is let me increase the the form size to 1368 by I'm gonna go for about 788 and let's get this one centered there okay now let's get uh, the data grid view right here that's it double click on it and that's our data grid view there right there we'll be setting that later on now let's get and let's get buttons we don't need about three of that and i also need a text box let's look for a text box right there we don't need a couple of those let's copy hold hold down the control click and drag all right and then we need here and here I need three about three of those right okay let's maybe get let's look for I think I should use yeah group box so paste this button right in there okay what I'll do is let me speed up the naming of this component and I'll get back to you guys okay guys this is how the interface looks let's run it so that you see what I'm talking about that is how it all looks now here this is going to just be a transcript and here we have the the subjects that were covered the name and the the grades or the final output and here we have the progression decision for the university and the following as well Okay, let's start by taking care of the exit, the clear button and so on. Oh, before that, you see this very data review. Let's take care of that really. I'm going to select the data review and here I intend to enter as follows all of these data. We will be entering the students, maybe I think this may be the student name. We may not. Well, let's see I might be able to enter the rest of the information let's see let's just take it from there the first thing I'll do is let's come in here and let's click on edit columns and in the add a column and the very first column I intend to add I'll be student student underscore ID now and the title of that copy and just paste it here that's going to be the title of the student ID then the next column I believe that's meant to be first name let's copy and paste and right here then we have surname copy and paste that and that will be the surname this is meant to be the header you click on close and say ok so that you guys see what I'm talking about this is what I'm talking about so we've done this three the next one let's click on that or oh, let's just move this here so that I can click on this alright the next one is going to be the course code alright this is how the interface looks now especially the the data grid view that's how it looks now okay so let's start with the coding but before that I think maybe I should change this one to let's change that to combo box let's come in here and go to the just get rid of it delete it and come into the tools grab a combo box there combo box there we go yeah that replaced that okay and let's change the name of that very component to CMB cost code 
day is taken care of. Alright, that's good. And increase the font size anyway. Let's go for 14. Right, that's fine. Okay, so that's right. So the first thing I would like to do now is let me take care of the exit right here. Scroll right down. We have an exit there. Double click on that. And let's declare the following variable. Dim I exit as the as a dialog result. I exit equals message message box but not message box but in net message box that show say confirm if you confirm if you want to exit comma out there and the name of the project to be system or student ranking there yeah. and let's come out here and enter message box button right there dot yes no comma message box dot yeah message box icon dot question that is that so that's the inbuilt function I intend to use and we use an if statement if I exit equals dialog result dot yes then application dot ex exit dot exit there that's taken care of so that's my from here down here that's the exit lines of codes we can just try it out to see what I'm talking about click on exit there we go no click on exit again yes that's fine now the next thing is we want to play this double click on that and just enter me dot data give you one dot rules dot play right that will play the whole data review what about if we want to delete just a single item okay let's double click on that all right there those are the lines of code that delete a single item okay now the next thing is if we want to add all of this information okay let's look for Thing we may have to create that. Let's come in here and just add one more. Do one more button there. Go back there and we'll call that update. Okay. Alright, with the updates, you change that to update. And here the name is going to be BTN update BTN update. And let's select the event because I've already copied it and just delete this right there. So right in here, double click on that. So all we just need to do is let's copy data review, copy and paste it right in there. So that'll become data review one dot rule rules dot add and enter a bracket and whatever we intend to add let's start from student id txt student id dot text and the next one is comma we want to add txt student name that's it dot text comma txt surname 
tx comma txt I think we do have cost do we have the cost details let's check that out yes of course we do and let's see oh it's CB, cbm okay let's go back in there c m b dot text now the subject area we have mathematics business computer okay let's go for txe math txe business okay this one is meant to be dot text and dot text here as well okay i think we're gonna need another line here now we have okay that's business study then the next one that's going to be txt computing dot text so i might as well just speed it up anyway 